trying to figure out if y'all got some childhood foods, sensible childhood foods that y'all used to eat and y'all want me to try them, shoot me a, a DM on my Instagram or you can just put it in the comments. Well, it ain't got to be no secret. Put it in the comments and I'll, I may try it. But if it's some crazy stuff like some mayonnaise... <laughs> they're just, <laughs> they're just hello all my bells and welcome back y'all welcome back to the channel if you're new here welcome also if you're new and you have not yet subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can become part of the family y'all i got me some jerk chicken remember i told y'all i want to try jerk chicken remember i went to the place the last time and all they had was oxtails well they had jerk chicken this time y'all and i didn't put it all on my plate my plate looked a little messy there's just stuff everywhere yeah, everywhere but um they had jerk chicken i went early today so i was able to get some today so i got me some rice and peas some plantain y'all i think they burnt them a little bit um some oxtails some cabbage y'all and this is all they gave me my whole little thing now I, that, I, that little cabbage is good and some jerk chicken they gave me more chicken and more oxtails but i didn't put it all on my plate and they gave me a whole bunch of rice i didn't put that on my plate either and i made me some pickled onions back here um, y'all, and they gave me this. I don't know what this is, but I'm assuming that it's hot sauce for the jerk chicken. I'm assuming that that's what it is. I don't know, but, oh, oh yeah, that sounds hot. That smells hot. Y'all won't be using that. Now, I got my regular roll. I got me some hot sauce right over here. Trapeze. That good stuff that I like. I, I use this. That smells hot. I don't know what that is. Is that, uh, Courageous K? Is that what this is? Is that the hot sauce for the jerk chicken? Y'all, I might just try it. I may just try, I may just dip it in there a little bit. Just a little bit. But um, y'all, let's get into this rice and peas. That is so graciously good to me. These pickled onions are not that um I just made them. Well not just, but They're not, um, uh, let me, let me, I'm gonna try this hot sauce over here, y'all. We, we gonna try it. It smells kind of like a barbecue sauce, but it smells hot as well. I'm just doing a little dip, just a little dip. Yeah, that's hot. It's kind of got a sweet taste to it, but it's hot. So I guess maybe that's them um, scotch bonnet paper, peppers, scotch bonnet. Y'all yeah, bought me some plantains from the store because I want to make me some, but they weren't ripe. So that's why I didn't make them with this meal. They were stingy with cabbage today, though, because this is all they gave me. Got me a few oxtails. This lady that was ordering before me, she, she was getting some goat. Y'all, this hot sauce is hot, but it's kind of good. It kind of tastes like a sweet barbecue sauce. Like a sweet heat barbecue sauce. I didn't even share with y'all, huh? Let me give y'all oxtail or something. Come back that. I like oxtails. I, I'm still trying to wonder why they call them oxtails when they don't come off of ox. They come off a of cow's tail. It's it's beef. And I noticed that we Americans say oxtails, but Jamaicans just say oxtail, oxtail. Y'all, I, I ain't Jamaican. I think I am. I think I'm every uh, nationality. Y'all probably say, girl, you say I don't like hot sauce, but you said the hot sauce is hot. It's hot, but it's not like 
burn your butt hot like that two times spicy stuff and it has a sweet zing to it so it's not super duper hot but it is hot but it's not unbearably hot it is good got my friend sent me a video <laughs> i don't know if y'all ever watched that um lady faye nelson the, the funny lady i believe she's jamaican and <laughs> somebody threw a bag of chips in her yard like in front of her gate and she was trying to prove to people like sometimes the answer be right there but you're not paying no attention you study doing other stuff but you ain't paying attention to what you should be paying attention to so she kept taking the chips i wish i can insert a clip but it was a very long video so i probably can't insert a clip and I don't want to get copyrighted for using her stuff. But she kept taking the chips. She had this long stick and she was taking the chips and she was like sweeping it down. So she locked. So the thing was that she locked. She, the thing fell over the gate. The thing she was using to get the chips fell over the gate. Y'all, she walks out of the gate, walks around the gate and go and get the chips. Maybe I'll just put the video link in my, but it's not on YouTube. It was on, I don't know, I think it was on Instagram or something. I don't know. But she walks around the gate and she gets the stick that's next to the chips that she's trying to get. But what I understand what she's saying is people just don't get it. It's right there in front of you, but you're still so busy with several other things that you don't see that it's right there. You, you're doing all this other stuff when you could have just grabbed that bag of chips or you could have just grabbed that money or you could have just grabbed that blessing or whatever. Y'all, I'm not preaching to y'all because I don't do that. But you could have just grabbed it because it was right there. It's feasible. It's tangible, let's say, to your hands that you can just grab it. But instead of her doing that, she walked around. She grabbed the stick next to the chips that she was trying to get over her gate. And she went back around. Actually, she hopped over the gate the first time. She hopped back over the gate, went back over there and started trying to pull the chips towards the gate again. And it's like, and that's what some of us do. We don't think. And it's like, fool, it's right there. It's right there. And you doing everything else but what's right there in your face. That's what I say about some men and women. They see they have a good woman that's right there. And women with men as well. I don't want to just say men with women because the men be thinking I'm on here bashing them. I'm not. But women with men as well and men with women as well. It could be right there. You can have a good man. You can have a good woman. But you don't realize that it's so tangible. It's right there. But you're doing everything else. But noticing that that's the good thing right there in front of you. And you're not getting it. Y'all, I just wanted to share that with y'all. Oh, I'm drinking a... Um, today is not an ice. It's a Walmart brand. This one is 48 cents. Pineapple orange. I'm not going to drink all of that. I know that I'm not. But um, <laughs> them oxtails is it? Is Jamaican food good for you? What they cook? What they put in this stuff? They use lard. What they use to cook all this stuff? I'm sure it's not good for you because it's good. Most food that's good for you is not good. You got to add some extra stuff to it to make it good. So I'm assuming that they grill jerk chicken, right? I'm chewing on bones. That was young. Y'all, I don't know about the jerk. I can't find it. Maybe I swallowed it. I don't know. I saw somebody eating some chicken. They was chewing on the bone and everything. I'm like, wow. That's how you get down. Jamaicans eat with their hands, right? I'm going to eat with mine today. This, um... I think that's one of them hot things. I ain't eating that. 
one of them scotch bonnet things. Yeah, I ain't about to burn my butt hole open. Mm-mm. Ain't gonna happen. Not today. Not today, Jesus. Y'all, I'm gonna read some comments to y'all, too. But that cabbage is good, but they put um, rice. Not rice. Green peas, corn, and cabbage. And the hot thing. This hot thing right here. That I ain't eating. I sure wish I had more plantains. Plantains. How you say it? Plantains? Am I saying it right? Probably not. I know y'all hear my stomach growling. I don't for the life of me understand why it growls when I'm eating. Getting the food time to get in there. And this is not my first meal of today. What did I have today? I don't know. But it's already six o'clock. This is probably my second meal, but my first meal was early this morning. I don't remember what it was though, but I did eat something today. Y'all gonna do a video on my um some childhood favorite favorites that I liked as a kid. Somebody gonna steal my idea. I don't care if you steal it. I thought of it first. Beef. Y'all just come. I don't. I don't like the jerk chicken, but I don't like all the bones I keep finding. I'm chewing on bones and stuff. I actually think the jerk chicken can use some like lemon or something. I don't know. But I ain't trying to chew on my bone. And it's not hot. That lady in the store told me it was hot. She lied. I mean, it got kicked. And it got a lot of bones. Like eating fish. What? Who did I see eating some chicken? But they wasn't, it was like chicken backs or something. Is that what this is? But they was picking all these bones out of it. I don't remember who it was, but I saw somebody on YouTube eating some chicken backs. But they was picking a whole bunch of bones out of it. I don't know. Y'all probably say she ate all the food today. Y'all ain't feeling the bones. No, nah, dog. They're trying to kill me out here. In these YouTube streets. Y'all about to read some comments. I'm going to eat this oxtail right here. I like the oxtail better than I like the jerk chicken. I do. Y'all never had pickled onions. They're really good. I have a video up of me making this. I ain't got no measurements. But I did make it. On my oxtail video. Because I was trying to find A B's recipe. Because that's who I got it from. I got the pickled onions from any bee and I put jalapenos in it too but I don't have any on my plate and I got that recipe from her so I forgot that I made the recipe as well like I did a video on the recipe so I went on her channel looking for the recipe she's deleted a lot of her videos I don't understand it but um I don't know I just threw the paper towel over there. We're going to do some comments, y'all. Some commentios. Yes, I think I'm Spanish. I think I'm everything. 
whatever you want me to be, I am. Okay. The last one I did that, 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 um, that, excuse me, excuse me. I'm a bat, y'all, today. My bat, I'm a bat on. Y'all, this hair is hot. I don't remember the last video I went off of, but what I'll do is I'll go off of my Taco Tuesday video. It's the last video I did. Tommy Bites says, Tommy Bites TV says, Shell, I think if you wore a curtain, it would be too sexy. You cannot help what God bless you with, but at least you are, you are mindful about that. I try to be. Y'all, I'm a church girl. I grew up in the church, so I know how to act. But I like to be sexy. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Deborah Cooper, tacos look delicious. Honey mama. Hey, Shell, I'm here watching and here for Taco Tuesday. Y'all, did y'all like my my niece text? I told y'all we in a group chat with my niece, my cousins. My cousins, my nieces. So my niece text this morning. She was like, y'all, Shell made some... um." She made some some tacos out of some leftover meatloaf. That is so homeless. I'm like, girl, you're so clueless. What do you mean it's homeless for me to make tacos out of meatloaf? Meat ta uh, meatloaf ain't nothing but a big hamburger. You just add a little onions and some olives to it. You got ketchup on it. So I'm like, what was wrong with me eating a meatloaf taco? She said that was so homeless. I'm like, wow, that's deep. I don't know what was homeless about it, but... That's how you feel. That's how you feel. Y'all, my plate looks uh, gross. I'm sorry. Y'all probably like, but I ate a lot today, didn't I? Y'all probably say, girl, you had nothing on that plate. <laughs> I know I didn't, y'all. But I was trying to put as much as I wanted to eat. I didn't want to warm up everything. And I know that I'm just letting it sit here. Okay. Um. Uh, Vera Donald. Hey, Shil, I don't know how those tacos taste with that leftover meatloaf, but it looks really good. I'm surprised you like it because you are very picky. Yes, it was very good, um, Vera. It was really good. I mean, it just, the thing was, it tastes like regular tacos to me. I mean, all I did, like I said, I chopped it up in a few little chunks, put it in a pot, pan, skillet, whatever you want to call it, put a little taco seasoning over, put, add a little water, and cooked it up. It tastes just like tacos to me. There was nothing different. It was just in bigger chunks. But it didn't taste different to me, different than tacos would have tasted. It was good to me. Yes, it was. Um, Celos Eats. Happy Taco Tuesday, fam. The tacos are, look so good. Thank you. Lady Luck. Good afternoon, Shell. Meatloaf tacos sound good. They were actually good, you guys. Don Easy TV. Oh, wow. Never had meatloaf tacos, but it, if, but it, if, y'all, why I can't never read? But that's some good. Um, that's good though. That's what you said. Great video. Thank you, Don Easy TV. Oh. Dante James, happy day show. Happy Taco Tuesday. Use up them leftovers. Build them tacos and put cheese on everything. Yes, cheese on everything. Laugh out loud. While those tacos look good, the flats are the best. I'm not a drumstick person. All flats. Exactly, they the best. I don't know why people don't like the flats. Why they go and buy them big drum thing. Thanks for sharing, Shell. Thank you for watching, Dante James. Wait, I think I got your thing. I thought I did. Good day, everybody. <laughs> yeah, he don't do it like that. Yeah. Don't, 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 don't quote me, cause he don't do it like that. Questions. Anik Sue Official Wild Delicious. Like, thanks for sharing. Uh, Y'all don't know the name. Anik A N E K Sue Official. Carolyn Brown. Hey, Shell. Happy Taco Tuesday. Outfits was flawless. Thank you very much. Limitless by V. Lenore. This is one of my weaknesses. When I'm trying to eat right, I have to see if I can make them another way. You can. You can make you some, um, Make you some keto shells out of the top, out of the cheese. You know, I know a lot of people think that cheese is fattening. Cheese is fattening, but for keto, you eat a lot of fattening things. Fats, you eat a lot of fats. So you can make those shells 
out of the cheese. Also, they have shells that are carbless and something else. I saw them in the store the other day. That was there. I wouldn't have bought it, but I saw them. Mm -hmm. Just give me the regular old taco stuff. Yeah, but you can. I mean, meat is protein, so you can eat meat. Just don't pile it up with the avocado. I mean, avocado is a good, a good fat, but it's really not good for you, I guess. I don't know. Don't take, don't get the sour cream meat. I don't know. Substitute it with some Greek yogurt or something. I went to a nutritionist class at Kaiser and they tell you all the stuff to substitute stuff which you like, like sour cream substituted with Greek yogurt. Y'all, we're not going to get into all of that because I ain't no nutritionist. Don't proclaim to be one either. Courageous K, I'm here for Taco Tuesday. Everything looks delicious. I love all the outfits you brought. The pink dress is fire. That pink dress was too little for me. I thought I was going to the strip club and that you would have thought I was the stripper at the club with that dress on. That thing was too tight. I couldn't even walk. I stood there looking squished. <laughs> you would have found Mr. Snow. You would have found Mr. Snow if you had worn that one. Mr. Snow? <laughs> probably so. I probably would have. But actually, you guys, the wedding I went to was more couples type of thing. It wasn't very many. I don't see very many single people. I know there was a man sitting next to me. and He was saying how his wife just had a C-section and she going to have to learn or something. I don't know what he was saying, but I didn't think it was right what he was saying to whoever he was talking to on the phone. But he didn't have no wedding ring on either. If you my husband, you wearing that wedding ring. Trust me, you're going to wear it or you're going to get knocked out. Jalil Odom, and this is my last and final comment, also tastes good. Always tastes good the second time around. I've been trying to stay away from soda myself because I think that's why the calories that's where the calories come from yeah soda has a lot of calories and all that it's a lot of sugar i mean if you want to try something different try some of these or the ice because they don't have any sugar they don't have any um they don't have anything in it so they say that it's a lie but it's carbonated so if you know you want a little because <clears throat> you like to burp you want to burp a little bit just try you some of these i know a lot of people don't like them i know that pinky did not like the ones that i get from walmart or stater brothers wherever i got them from but the water, the sparkling waters that's from Walmart that I like. She said she didn't like them. They didn't taste good to her. But I like them. But you may not because you know people want the soda. But to substitute, I would try some of those. Like the ice. Or, I mean, you, I'm quite sure you got a Walmart near you. Go to Walmart and it's called Clear American or Sam's Club. It's Walmart's brand. It's 48 cents. The ice is a dollar. So you can get two of those for the price of one of ice. And it tastes the doggone same. Uh, ah, it goes good sometimes. Laugh out loud. Anyway, awesome job, fam. Thank you, Jaleel Odom. Y'all, that was my last comment. I have no more comments to answer. You guys, like I, I was telling you guys that I am going to do a childhood. I was asking my cousins to send me some, like, foods that we used to eat, like, that they liked when they were kids. Y'all, my one cousin told me, my niece said, try some hot cheeto puffs with some miracle whip on some white bread i'm not eating that ain't gonna happen mm -mm. i said i was thinking more of the lines of like little snacks that we ate as kids that we liked that we enjoyed not some freaking mayonnaise hot cheeto puffs on some bread a cheeto puff sandwich i'm not eating that mm -mm. but um yeah i was like no no little homie i ain't eating that <laughs> And they was all like, that's why your son is crazy. Because she was eating. She said she ate when she was pregnant. What else did she say she ate? Some. Some. Um, the hot Cheeto puffs. Oh, French fries with ketchup and syrup. I knew a lady who used to eat her French fries like that. And she acted like it was good. It probably was good. I don't know. Don't knock it till you try it. But I don't think. Uh, I mean, because I've had honey on my fries. Like, if I get chicken from Popeye's and it comes, you know, I put honey on my chicken and a little of the honey have gotten on the fries with the ketchup and I've eaten it. It didn't taste bad, but I ain't eat no mayonnaise, no um, hot Cheeto puff sandwich. I ain't eating that. And then she also used to eat rice, milk, butter, and sugar. I don't even want to drink cold milk and when i do drink milk it has to be super duper cold so i'm most certainly not about to eat it warm that's like eating rice pudding i don't like that stuff my grandmother used to make that all the time 
I don't eat rice pudding. Y'all like rice pudding? I know a lot of Southern folks probably like rice pudding. But my grandmother did not put the, the raisins in hers. They just made it rice pudding with the rice, the milk, with however they made it. I don't know because I wasn't eating it. But I know my cousin who wanted some. She was like, do y'all know how to make the rice pudding? No, don't nobody know how to make that. You can go on the, on the internet and find you a recipe for it. But I no, don't nobody want that. At least I don't. Rice, put, rice pudding, for real. Why is it called rice pudding anyway? But I've seen them sell that stuff in the store. And they put tapioca in it. Yeah, I ain't eating that. Mm -mm. Ain't gonna do it. But I'm gonna figure out, if y'all got some childhood foods, sensible childhood foods that y'all used to eat and y'all want me to try them shoot me a, a dm on my instagram or you can just put it in the comments well, it ain't gotta be no secret put it in the comments and i'll i may try it but if it's some crazy stuff like some mayonnaise with cheeto puffs on the sandwich i'm not eating that some pickles on the sandwich with mayonnaise i'm not eating that now i've eaten a peanut butter and pickle sandwich but i'm not eating no mayonnaise and pickles ain't gonna happen i've eaten peanut butter and pickles but I'm not, you know, don't, don't come at me with no craziness because that's not going to happen. But just some childhood stuff that you guys have eaten. Like when I was a kid, I used to love, not a kid. I wasn't even a kid. I was an adult. I used to love um, honey buns with cheese on top of it or cinnamon rolls with cheese on top of it. I liked honey buns with Doritos were really good. And you may turn your nose up at it, but try it. Don't knock it till you try it. Knock it. Don't knock it till you try it. Don't. Y'all, I'm about to go because I didn't eat enough for you me and your kids you probably said girl no you didn't i know i didn't y'all y'all think i'm getting a new neighbor i am out there talking i don't want no neighbors the apartment next to me was vacant for a while but then when i came home today i saw a big box in front of the door and i'm like don't nobody live there why is there a box but then I saw a name on it and it was from the cable people. So somebody's moving next door to me. Hopefully they mind their own business. Because I mind mine. Right? Y'all, I'm about to go. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everybody that you know. And don't forget to hit that little bell so that you will be notified of each and every time that I post a video. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Oh, you guys. Don't forget to wash those hands.